I have spent my life taking care of babies with birth defects. And several years ago, almost 30 years ago now, it became obvious that we could help some babies after birth, but sometimes even when we did our best operation, we couldn't fix the damage that had already been done before birth. So that led to the field of fetal surgery. And I got involved in taking care of babies with the first non-fatal. They wouldn't die, but they had spina bifida, which is a pretty devastating birth defect. Kids are born paralyzed. We asked the question if we operated on them before birth instead of after birth, could we prevent some of the damage that might have occurred? Uh, and it turned out the answer was yes. And what we also discovered was that in addition to helping their brain function, which was a, the, one, sort of the primary goal, we helped their leg function, their motor function. The fact that we could improve that a little bit made me think, well, gosh, if there's room for a little, there's got to be room for more. So that took us back to the lab to develop a stem cell potential therapy for improving these kids with spina bifida. So we started to think about, in addition to helping babies with paralysis, maybe we could help other people with paralysis. And that's where the Harrington came in to help. Although I was really a specialist on baby problems, they started giving, helping us understand what would be needed to explore applying this technology to adult spinal cord injury. Um, and it's been great. We discovered a unique placental-derived mesenchymal stem cell that had a rapid doubling time, much faster than normal cells, had a unique cytokine profile, and seemed to have lots of desirable features for neuroprotection and neurodevelopment. So we started down the pathway of seeing if we could apply these cells to the spine at the time of doing our fetal operation. Lo and behold, in our first animal models, we had amazing results. The Harrington Discovery Institute brings together staff from different areas of expertise, from uh, scientific advisors to business development advisors to regulatory experts, all in one place. It's an amazing, uh, it's like having your own private think tank to uh, move your drug development along.